the, the user, of course, you can choose any of the spots. So that means the user can uh, choose any available spot. The computer generally, the user moves, then the computer moves, right? So it will be in turn. Uh, in the beginning, uh, there are going to be, where we need to use random, uh, so that uh, you can, in your program, you can choose the symbol to represent for computer or user. For example, you use a, you use a cross for, uh, for user, so for example, if user is cross, you say user choose number six, then the next term will be uh, computer, their computer is O, for example, computer choose O, and then the user will choose the next spot. So this is because this spot is taken, this spot is taken, so you cannot choose those two spots, right? For example, user choose this one. Then the computer will in turn choose the another spot. And how they will, when they do this back and forth, how do you decide who is a, who is a winner is that when they have the same, same row, has the same symbol. For example, if all cross, that means the user, for example, if we use user for X for user O, whatever the symbol represents, that is, is a winner. Oh, this one, same symbol, each column, that will be the same. That's, you, that's a winner. And then, diagonally, so this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we add four more. One, two, three. So this will be eleven. Three, six, nine. This is twelve. Five, ten, fifteen. <coughs> 13, and then 8, 11, 14, 14. So those 14 combination represent a winner combination, okay? So in this case, any of the symbol, if they have the uh, combination, for example, 8, 11, 11, 14, uh, they have the same symbol, that's a winner. Or otherwise, any of those, 14 combination. Okay, that's a winning combination. So the, the game started, okay, the game started with a random. So that means if you have this after this 14 combination,
right? What is the random returning? The random one. One more time to review that. <coughs> okay, so if I say oh, random for all, if I say random, what will you return? Number from zero to one, right? So in this case, if we just use random, if I just random in the beginning, we can say uh, who starts first. So I will say first equals um, first equals random. We can use that no problem because first we'll have a, a random number here. So we can imagine between zero to zero point five, we represent user. That's fine. From zero point five to one, we represent less than 0.5 is user's turn. Otherwise, it's considered turn. That's okay, right? Or otherwise, we, you can also use, you can use, also use something like this, R A D I T, one, two, like that, right? So then they're gonna generate a, a random, randomly zero one, right? So it's also two possibilities. Of course, you can say, if the result is one, you say it's user. If the result is two, it will be computer. There's no difference. The purpose is 50-50% chance who will start first. Computer, all the user. Okay, so that's random. Once they started first, they need to use the computer or user need to choose, right? Need to choose. So when they choose, when they decide already, they have you have two lists to one is the forward to store all the positions, another one is available position. In the beginning, it's safe, all available. So user, of course, they need to input. When they input, they need to choose from one of these choices. From the available, they choose. So user enter a position. If the position user choose inside available forward, uh, not a forward, if available list, that position is available, it's okay, you can choose. So the computer will randomly choose from the available position. So the user, of course, if you have a, in the beginning, of course, the, in the beginning, uh, the board, the available or, or, or the board will be the same, right? So in the beginning, if I have a, if I have a board uh, and uh, available, Remove the 
this generates zero or, or one, it doesn't matter. If you put it to one, for example, if this generates one randomly, actually you choose this one, right? So this one will be the position computer choose. Of course, we need to change the board. We need to change the board, okay? How to change the board in the computer? The board will be what? The change will be the, the board will be whatever the computer minus one. equals O. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Because we randomly choose, there's only three spots available. I choose one of the spots. We have three. We randomly generate number, we choose the spot. And this spot has the number 10, but remember the board is remaining 16. I just changed different symbol. So in this case, if it's 10, Actually, the index is nine, so we put a nine change to this symbol. That's computer symbol to modify. Does that make sense? Okay. So in this case, they can go on and on to deal with these steps, but you need to have a function. You need to use function to make sure uh, there is a winner, then it stops. Okay. So that's why in the requirement here, say uh, you. This one should be okay, so because they choose, they remove the position from available list and change the position for the symbol representing it. Okay, so use the X to represent computers, O to represent uh, uh, X to represent user, O to represent computer. That that part is plain, right? But when they when they move, okay, so available for example for this case, uh, seven is change symbol and uh, twelve change symbol. So in the available, that is not. A, not there anymore. But for the board, they still have a symbol. So then we check the, the winning combination. How we, we use the, when we have the winning combination, we need to use the board to check. What's the winning combination? That's 14, winning combination. One, two, three, four, if they have the same symbol, there is a winner. You write the condition. 14 possible winning combination. Of course, you, you can use a function, use a function to check winner, right? So you have a function to check winner. So you have a, a, a function, the 14 combination, you, need, you use a function to uh, check winner. And also, you need a function to validate user choice. So when we have the function to check, you have a, a print the board, you need to have a function to print the board because when the when the program go back and forth, you need to display the board. Which position is taken, which one is so the symbol, which is the print board. So this one, the print board is what what print the board from the list of board you print. When you print the board, to print this one, right? You print this like this. So how do you can print like this? This one will be, this one will be index. So this one will be, for example, you, you can put this one dash. You can, you can have a function to print. The function, the function print function, okay? So print board. You can pass the board inside. Okay, e f. You can pass the board inside, and then you just need to print this. How many dash? And you put a bar. This one is what? This one is the board index zero, and this one is board index one, like that. So each time, doesn't matter if computer, especially when after computer turn finish. You make user to, sh to see what's available, you need to display the board. The board, of course, they're not, no more display of one, two, three, four. They're going to display, um, they're going to display with the symbol, right? It can be, can be like this, can be like that. So 
each time because the board is modified. So when you print the board, the board will print differently. Does that make sense? You have to have a function to print the board. You have to have a function to check winner. How do you check winner? Check print the board using the board. Check winner you use what? Is also using the board, but you need to check this is the same or not, then this is the same or not, so that's the forking combination in the Okay. After that, so this part is finished, the computer will, a user will move in turn for the other person. If all the positions are taken, and there's no winner, there will be a tie. But there is a winner, the program finish. The program say finish, you are the winner or computer is loop. Okay? So the loop is a is a loop. We don't know how many times this loop will run. Because it can be after several rounds, it's already winner, so it stops. Or otherwise at the end there's no more spot, so then uh, it's a tie. Uh, I think well, I, my explanation is pretty intense. Uh, I will leave the, you have 20 minutes there. Uh, you can see if you kind of think about it and they see any questions, okay? So we'll not give you new material. But this one is ne till next Monday, okay? So that which part you get question, I can answer your question, okay? Scott, you 